Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having Dairy Queen. I'm just having a cheeseburger and a small fry on the side. I was originally going to just get a chocolate shake, but then I started smelling the food and I got really hungry because I haven't had lunch yet. So I just figured, you know what? I'll skip on the chocolate shake and just go for this. I decided to get something small and simple. I don't like pickles, so of course I'm going to take the pickles out. It's interesting how some places, like, don't have onions on a cheeseburger. Like, this place has no onions. It just says mustard, ketchup, pickles. And then you go to, like, McDonald's and they've got onions in their food and, like, other places. Mmm. It's good. Simple, but good. I don't know how, but she thought I wanted, like, a combo meal. When I just said a cheeseburger and a small fry, I don't know. But since she took my order wrong, um, <clears throat> like she thought I wanted like the yeah, combo, so I don't know what this is—a medium or something. But she said I'll just give you the drink because for the just the fries plus the um, cheeseburger was just like five bucks, and that's what I wanted to spend. But, can't complain, I got a free drink with it, so, it's better than nothing. It's really pretty out. Sunny, no rain. Perfect. Mm. And I think these french fries are fresh because they taste so freaking good. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, I want to talk to you guys about, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a parent who had, like, a kid on an airline, and the kid had, like, a glow-in-the-dark outfit, like, costume or something. I don't know, I think it was, like, a rabbit or a unicorn one. It was cute. But it was completely glow-in-the-dark. And it was, like... The lights were turned off on the plane because people were trying to sleep, you know, that time. And the kid had that outfit on and it was just like, and it was, I think it would be fine if it was just glow in the dark. But th this outfit was also flashing and I know that some people can't handle flashing because I think some people can have a, what's it called, a seizure? I always have a hard time pronouncing that word from it. So like the flashing lights and it can cause migraines, but that thing was flashing like crazy and it was just intense I feel like if it was just the lights then okay maybe that's fine like you know you can tolerate it but it was also flashing like I felt bad for the people who were right behind it with that flash in their face and just anybody who just can't you know the where flashing is not good for them like flashing lights this might be an unpopular opinion but I personally think that the kid shouldn't have had that outfit on. Because even if you have kids, you still have to be considerate of other people. You can't do whatever you want just because you have kids. I feel like that's the way I see it. Like if I was in that situation and I had a kid, no way am I making them wear a glow in the dark outfit where, and especially have turning that on when people are asleep. Mm -mm. And it's like, you know, lights are turned off, no way. I was thinking maybe why not give the kid glow sticks or something and I commented along like a post where they were talking about it and I said you know why not give the kid a glow stick instead of a glowing outfit and all the crazy people came to attack me one of them said oh you must not have kids you don't know what it's like blah 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 I'm just like okay but you gotta be smart even if you don't have kids you have the right to state your opinion and thoughts on something and also I feel like I would have handled it better but if I did it if, if that was my kid I would have never given that kid that outfit you gotta teach a kid to be considerate of other people and you know to you know not be entitled like entitled parents raise entitled bratty kids and the dad was just staring around in the video that was recorded just looking around while his kid had the, the flashiest light costume ever
cool and stuff, but like during the day outside somewhere, not when people are when the lights are dimmed down low so people can sleep. Cause that flashing thing, God, I feel like that would give me a migraine. You know, gives people headaches. It's just, it's annoying. I don't know. People are saying, you know, it's just a kid, but you gotta teach the kid to be considerate of other people. You know. It's the parents' fault, 100%. Plus, I also commented how if you're going to be on an airplane, don't, wouldn't you want to, like, you know, what's it called? Did you have backups, like, for example, coloring books, an iPad for kids to watch their movies and things and toys? Do you have backup? There's also another mom who I saw bought like some erasable markers or something like that and the kid was drawing all over the plane wall where he was sitting. He or she, I forgot what it was, but I'm gonna just go with he, where he was sitting. And the, and the kid was just drawing all over and people were like, oh that's fine, it's erasable, but it's like, that's not fine, you're teaching your kid to be destructive to other people's properties, to property that's not theirs. Like you have to teach your kid things from a young age, I feel like, but I don't know. I mean, I don't have kids, but if I did, even if we were somewhere and they had like erasable markers, I would not let them write all over the airplane like that. It's just, you gotta teach them while they're young from what's right and what's wrong. But I don't know, each to each their own, I guess. If you guys can let me know your thoughts on it, please do. What would you do? Like, what do you think of the situation with the kid on the airplane with the flashing costume? And the kid drawing on the airplane walls with erasable markers? Let me know your thoughts. I personally don't think either one of those situations are okay, but that's just me. I don't know. And then this one person was like attacking me because I commented on the post about saying why doesn't why don't they give the kids glow sticks instead? And then he's all like calling me names and I'm just like wow you like just I'm also over here just thinking like you really must God knows how you're raising your kids if you're out here calling a stranger names for having a different opinion. And I didn't write anything mean I was just like why not give the kid glow sticks instead of an entire glowing costume something like that you know? And he started calling me names. I will never understand. why people will leave the boxes in the um, carts of like Costco because I'm parked next to Costco and I always see boxes in people's carts or now I'm seeing a box with like I think it's Dawn dish soap or something a big box left in the cart I guess people don't want to take that home and dispose of it but damn leaving it out here like that that's not good either Also, there was a puppy running around in this area. I did look a few days ago when I came back from my trip, but I don't see him at all today. And I didn't see him then either. That's a dog, it's not a puppy. It's a bigger dog. And apparently he's very skinny. He looks skinny in the photos. And they said that his owner, like, left. It was a homeless man. He left it, moved somewhere else and left a dog behind. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I read. It's hot. I'm kind of regretting wearing this shirt. And I also spilled Coke all over it, so that's not fun. They, they overfilled this Coke, like, to the brim. Pepsi or whatever it is. Honestly, it's been a while since I've had fast food. I'm trying my hardest not to eat it as often. <laughs> I feel like I can barely chew this today. 
I'm so tired. Maybe it's because I stayed up till 1 a.m. yesterday. This is good. I don't like Dairy Queen normally, but today I was craving a chocolate shake. I ended up getting this instead. Oh. I almost threw my trash in the wrong bag. I also did go to, what you call it, to, uh, what's it called, Fred Meyer's, this grocery store, this, it's kind of like a Walmart pretty much, but I did go there too and just like, this is my Coke I bought from there, because originally I didn't know I was going to get an extra Coke like this, but I guess I did get one. Wow, this thing's falling apart, this napkin. Okay, I'm full. I'm going to have to exercise all of this off late after. I'm gonna pull over somewhere and find a spot. Maybe I'll get a chocolate shake at another Dairy Queen. I'm kind of craving one now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel, but yeah, let me know you guys' opinions about the airplane thing. And I know it might be an unpopular airplane. I'm not saying, you know, I'm, I don't, it's not that I hate kids or anything, but I think it's the parents' fault. I feel like they should teach their kids to be considerate of other people, even if they're two years old. Teach them while they're young, because that's how Entitled parents to raise entitled bratty kids when they grow up to become adults. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, you could just give the kid some glow sticks, and then somebody's like, well, the kid could chew on the glow stick or something. Watch the fucking kid. It's not that hard. You're in a confined small spot. Watch them. If they chew on it, take it away from them. Or tell them no. Like, you, you, a lot of parents are, I feel like, like, I feel like are afraid to tell their um, kids no. Because I know one person who, like, never told their kids no, and when they, when my, um, brother once told the kid no, she like threw a tantrum and just went crazy and I was just like, wow. But anyways, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to cut the video here because I am kind of getting a little tired. And I've got to clean my car. It's honestly a mess, but I'm not going to clean it out here. I'm going to find maybe another spot and just give it a little clean up. Clean her up. Get her nice and tidy because she's just a mess. I also want to take it to the car wash, but... There's a lot of people there, and I'm in a skirt, so I don't want to seem, you know, overdo it or whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.